All right, uh, I have um, ladies here on the high table, and I have gentlemen there. Um, I am Flora Duke from Silverbed, work with Silverbed. I'm a news anchor, uh, TV presenter. I'm a familyist, uh, the convener of the Family Talk Show with Flora Duke. So if you're following all of the show, uh, Silverbed, 6.30 every Sunday. Then Thursdays and Friday, you get to see this lovely face. Am I not beautiful? Don't be jealous. Say something now. <laughs> All right, so that's me. And um, first of all, let me introduce um, uh, Pastor Mattis Amma. Pastor Mattis, welcome. Uh, cute gentleman. I know you're married. I'm also married, so don't be surprised when I say cute. <laughs> all right, so over to you. Introduce yourself. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Talabiyari Daniel. I'm a cinematographer and a producer. I'm a CEO of D26 Production, and I'm a family man. Hey! Good morning, everyone. I'm Edson Joshua Blaine, and I'm a broadcast presenter. Thank you very much. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jesus Pekin. I'm a comedian, a media person there, right here, based in Nigeria, Port Harcourt, West Africa, Africa, the world. Thank you. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Pastor Talking Drum. Like a bishop, are you the bishop? <laughs> okay, and um, the men of the price, we know we have all of you here. The mic will just go round and uh, just let us know the brand you represent and um, your name as well. So I'll begin from you here. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Emmanuel Tammy Solomon. I'm representing Redem 93.7. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Richard, uh, CEO Ukubenda.com. I'm an online publicist. Thank you. Uh, good morning. My name is Wariso Wariso. I represent the Beacon newspaper. My name is Lilian Oonda. I represent Independent Monitor. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Oro Eni. I work with Beats Classic and Ninja FM. Good morning. My name is John Bibo. I work with the Tide in Super. Good morning, everyone. My name is Emmanuel Samuel, and I am an upcoming gospel artist. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chief Max NBC. I'm representing Telegraph newspaper. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ayo Odungweru. I work with Wave 91.7 FM. Good morning, everyone. I'm Reverend Mrs. Ashu. Praise one family. Good morning, everybody. I am Precious Gara Tonebari. I represent the Kadang Global Concepts Limited. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ishala Sharif. I represent Tel Africa. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jessica Idemudia, Praise Wine Family. Good morning, everyone. I am Adik Peju Martin Sami, Praise Wine Family. Good morning, everyone. My name is Victor, a pastor. Good morning, everyone. My name is Boniface Obeni. I work with the Family Love Radio Station. There's a purpose we're all gathered here. Um, we need to know why, so we could uh, go back home or back to our respective um, area of disposition to share the reason or what we have seen here today. Because um, when good news stay with one person, it is no longer uh, news. It has to go far and abroad so everybody could get to hear. And that's why we took our time to invite all of you present here. So doing one of that is uh, uh, Pastor Martins Ame. He will be taking the opener speech. And after which we get to declare the, door, um, the uh, table open so we could uh, uh, ask questions and the press people could uh, get all the information they need to disseminate what they're going to hear today. Thank you so much. Good morning. Mm -hmm. 
distinguished men and women present here today, it is my privilege on behalf of the convener, Pastor Adikuli Elisome, to read this press statement. One, have warm greetings to distinguished men and women present here today, prestigious members of the press, invited guests and friends, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to welcome you all to this historic press conference, the first of its kind in the history of Praise Wine. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I would like to appreciate each and every one of you for honoring our invitation. There is joy in our hearts as you help us to fulfill this God-given mandate. Like the convener always say, every God vision moves the people forward. And that is why this press conference is historical and the very first in the history of praise wine since its inception. We are grateful to God Almighty for the revelation, insight, and advancement over the years. Indeed, we are so humbled by his mighty acts in the midst of us as a people. As you may know, Praise Wine International is a non-denominational -de Christian organization registered in Nigeria with a divine mandate from God to register his, to gather his people, I beg your pardon, to serve him a wine of praise and worship. This vision was born out of an, out of an encounter with God in a vision precisely on November 25th, 2012. There was an encounter with God in a vision. God showed the convener, Pastor Adekule Lesame, a picture of a group of people, known and unknown. Among these are ministers of God, government officials, politicians, and all classes of people. They are all gathered together in a place. Regardless of their classes, there was a common factor, all of them demonstrating as people were intoxicated. Tears were rolling down from their eyes, but their faces were lightened. Obviously, there was no anguish or, or sorrow. Obviously, there was no anguish or a sorrowful heart and no sign of mourning. Magnificent joy charged the atmosphere. Some people were rolling on the floor, some jumping and shouting at the same time. A, a group fell face down, muttering words. Some dumbfounded, not saying a word or give a sign whatsoever. So just looking short in the hall. Then he asked, why were they in that state considering the caliber of people? And God said to him, these people have served me a wine on the altar of praise and worship. And that I deserve, and I return serve them wine in the measure they also deserve. Afterwards, he said distinctively, Gather my people to serve me wine, a sacrifice of praise, which I desire. Gather them together, families, ministers, and title holders who can lay down their titles for the title giver. Let them serve me wine on the altar of praise and worship, and in return, I will serve them the wine. This mandate is backed up with scriptures. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise God, all ye servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. Revelation chapter 9, chapter 19, verse 5, and Isaiah chapter 42, verse 10 to 17. The meeting edition was held on the 14th of April 2013, titled Praise Wine 2013, with evidence of unspeakable acts of God resulting in diverse miracles, since then, as instructed by God, it has been a vision and an annual event that gathers people together of different race, tribes, classes, and different church denominations. We can't forget 2019 in a hurry. It was the seventh edition titled Praise Wine 2019, the year of release, held on the 28th of April 2019 at the Obiwali International Conference Center along Air Force Base. Road, Port Harcourt, Nigeria. The atmosphere was saturated with the glory of God. Men and women in their numbers worshipped God in an unusual manner, and many received unusual testimony. This last, this last seven editions has featured great ministers of God 
across the nation whom God has used to bless his people during the event. Amazing testimonies of miracles, signs, and wonders in all previous edition is an assurance that God is God at it's an assurance that God has his presence, tabernacle, with us in praise wine, in praise and worship. God is set and we are set for the eighth edition tag praise wine twenty twenty. Praise wine twenty twenty this year. What are we to expect? Someone may ask. Following the mandate, God cannot deny himself. He said, as the people served him wine on the altar of praise and worship, in return, he will serve them wine. The wine of God is in different foods, and when you take it, you are satisfied. No wonder this year, among many of God's agenda, is drawing us into an intense, intimate, and expressive worship. Worship in a different dimension beyond expression of bowing down, kneeling, and lifting up of hands. The worship which causes us to come before him with a renewed expectation to know him more. It is the time for the Holy Ghost invasion. It is a revival season for God's people through praise and worship. In addition, Every redemptive package will be an inclusive. Breakthroughs of diverse kinds, fruitfulness, etc. Because as the people praise him, the earth will yield her increase. When God wants to visit his people, he always sends a man. You agree with me that every case of surgical operation requires a team of expert doctors. God has also ordained ministers for himself to lead God's people in praise wine 2020. All that matters now is high level of preparedness, anticipation, and a focus-driven heart to serve him this great wine. We therefore call you all to partner with Praise Wine International to prove that we are not proud, vain, and ignorant generation with a generation ready to return to our first law, return to our very essence of creation. In our closest and also in the congregation, openly and unashamed. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9, the Bible says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Ladies and gentlemen, on this note, we hereby unveil the ministers for Praise Wine 2020. We have Priye Odede, <laughs> Joe Praise, Tope Alabi, Dosin Oyekan, Tinu Ade, Sensational Bamidele, H2H, Hosanna to the Highest. Alongside our great minds and excellent production team, including but not limited to Hope to Nations, Lightning, Dark and Down, Global Concept, Giant of Lead Screen, Narrow Stroke AB Sound Solution Sound, Grid Simultographer, Akina Labi, Deji Talabi, Deji Ishola, and Charles Micah. Memories Photography and Diadem Multimedia Project Manager. Members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to say thank you so much for coming. It gives me great pleasure to hand back to Flora, who will open the floor to Christmas. Thank you. Are we ready? I'm sure we're able to digest some things. He says quite a lot. Um, it's, it's been a program that has been on for good eight years. This year's edition will be the eighth edition. It's not been easy. Um, if you were present last year, I think last year, which was uh, the seventh edition, you could s if, if the, how many of us were there? Okay, praise my family. Press people. You didn't see our b-boards. You didn't hear the jingle, so you could come capture news. A 
it, it was mind blowing. Now, the, the thing about all of this is that it's been on for seven years without um, um, government sponsorship, without support from any government, government officials. It's been God providing all of these. When you get to you invite ministers, if you bring in, last year uh, we had Choma Jesus performing, uh, we had um, Dari, we had Tino Ade. Getting these great ministers of God to come perform is not an easy task. It costs a whole lot. Now, this thing has been on for seven good years, consistently, a vision that has come to stay. Isn't it wonderful? It, it's worth for us thanking God for. As I reflect this eighth edition, we should call the press to know about this. Let them be in the know so that April 19th, I'm sure, they could prepare and get their kids ready and come capture colorful events, colorful uh, um, actions that were displayed that day at Obiwali Cultural Center. Hallelujah. So I'm sure we are ready to ask questions so that you have um, something to take back. When people have been blessed, life has been transformed, testimonies recorded. Um, I can't forget last year in a hurry. I can't actually forget in a hurry. So there's so much, and you're going to see all of that um, by next month. So we'll declare the floor open for questions now, and the microphone is open. Let's have the first person. I thank you. I remain at your Odungwe Wave 91.7 FM. Yes, um, from your uh speech you said this is the eighth edition yes what i want to know is the theme of the praise wine for this year okay. and secondly what is your charge are you calling on the state government or who to partner with you you just got people to partner with you this is the state government or who are you calling on i still remain chimex in bc I, I want to ask you a question this um this your eighth edition. I want to know from the first edition to the seventh edition, the challenges you face some, um, for that first to seventh edition, the challenges you face and uh, the way you were able to surmount it. And also, anybody who is venturing into business is to make profit. I want to know what you have gained so far from what we understand the government it's not partnering with you people. Which agencies are partnering and what are the, what we have gained so far? And also the next one is, uh, we want to know the, chal the security you're going to put in place. You know the country we are. We want to know the security you're going to put in place to ensure that it becomes uh, a H-free event. Thank you. Um, last year was the year of release. And then this year, it's a year of uh, new beginning. Yeah. This is the ed edition. Uh, by significant age signifies a fresh beginning. So for us, it's a new beginning for everyone that will be attending. New beginning for every phase of your life, your career, whatever. You believe God for a fresh start, that will be the reason why you'll be there. Okay. So that's the theme for the program. Partnership. Do you need partnership? Yes. Um, by the grace of God, uh, God has helped us thus far. Like the Bible says, I haven't obtained help from him. We continue until now. Yes, there's room for partnership. Because as you all know, it's a big event. So um, a few guys indeed have partnered with us. But then the partnership level, the scope is small. Mm -hmm. So it's an avenue for those who think that this event has blessed them over years to join us. And let's together take the message of this uh, program to the next level. And then as we all gather to serve God in wine, and then with your resources involved, the Bible says the husband man that labors shall be the first partaker. So you that get your resources involved, def definitely you have a portion as ordained by God. So we welcome partnership. So can you just help? Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, it's good to be here this morning. Um, the major challenge we've had over the years is the EU of space. The very first edition of Praise Wine was held at um, Atrium, and um, the second year we had to move to Aztec because of the crowd we experienced on the first edition. It was so glaring that we can't use that venue for the second edition. 
So we use, we moved to Aztec and we used Aztec for five years. And uh, it's from that second year, it's, it's, it was, it was so challenging. There, there is a church beside Aztec. They always give us their facility to use. So that, that church, we normally use that church um, like an extension to it S most of the year. Arrange outside, even on the road. So we look at it last year that, of course, even Aztec management, they, they started complaining about our crowd. And then we have to look for another venue. So last year, we use Obiwali, which is more, a bit more spacious than Aztec. But despite that, we had a lot of crowd outside last year, and which I know we will still experience this year. So the major challenge we are facing is the issue of space, getting a space that can accommodate the, 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 the crowd that will come. We are trusting God for resources to have our own facility. We believe God so much that he is more than able to achieve that for us. So for this year, we still manage Obiwali as God will help us. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, in four weeks so far, she said uh, that every, every business, well, business minded person is out there to make profit. Um, is Praise Wine uh, towing that line or is it um, uh, envisaging such line in the future? Praise Wine is not envisaging reward in monetary terms. The only reward we are looking out for is a reward of the blessing of God and soul coming to the kingdom of God. As the Bible declares it that those who win souls, they are like stars. And that's a reward. When people come and they give their life to Christ, yeah. there's no better reward any believer can get. So we are not envisaging, we are not looking forward to any monetary rewards, but the reward of blessings, the reward of progress, the reward that follows labor. That is what we are looking at. I'm sure that's why it's, the gate is actually Yes, yeah, the gate free. is open, it's okay. free. Um, security agencies to partner with. Okay. okay, talking about security, we understand that um, bringing a multitude to gather together at a base, you have to check in security. And uh, we're working with all the security agencies in the states to make sure that everybody is safe by grace of God. We all know that um, safety is of the Lord, but certainly we also need to do our own homework when it comes to security. So we are showing the general public that Security is 100% sure because we're working with all agencies in the states to make sure that lives and property are safe before and after the events. Thank you. Okay. I remember uh, Wariso, Wariso. Um, you just uh, responded to a question. You just responded to a question that was near to the answer. I heard you very well when you said you just uh, unveiled the uh, ministers for praise uh, wine 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, the question is, what is the target of these ministers? What are you looking at? What do you intend to achieve? achieve? And what is your focus? Thank you. Hold on. I think we should rephrase that question. Um, when you say targets, of the ministers, I, I don't understand. Uh, the target is what are you looking at? You know, what do you want to get? What do you want to achieve? Uh, uh, expectations. Uh, 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 the, 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 the expectation, you know, so to say, the expectation of. Yes, can, I, can I come in? Okay, I no, in? let's have more questions so that the microphone just go. Give the money from this. Okay, I'm Tammy from Radio Night Three Point Seven. Uh, my question is due to what he said, he said safety is of the Lord, of course. But in a situation where we are facing a health pandemic, which is the coronavirus, and a gathering of people, how do you look forward to curtailing a situation like that? Because, of course, due to the crowd you have explained, we are also expecting people from outside the state. So how do you look forward to curbing a situation like that? 
was part of the question I wanted to ask. Uh, that is one. And, and through, I know that uh, this program, you have a lot of gathering of youths. Uh, so um, we know the restiveness amongst you now. So how do you think that this program will be, will be able to shift, a paradigm shift um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the lifestyle of you towards um, making them better persons in the society? My name is John Bimbo. I work with the Tide Nusupa. My question is, uh, this is the eighth edition. We want to know the impact it has created in terms of changing lives. Can you speak up with the impact, the impact the program has created in terms of changing lives. We should see diff people behaving in a different way. Secondly, you told us that uh, the venue, the atrium, now will be Wale. These areas are out of the reach of the common people. In the vision you, you, you said you saw, people gathered from different places, which maybe the commoners are there. Now, these areas you concentrated this program, how do the people, commoners who really need this gospel, how did they get across? Do you intend to carry this across to the community, to communities, or you want to concentrate it within the city center? That is one. Secondly, Third, I want to find out the level of people that have attended your program. Because in the vision, government officials were there, business moguls were there. Are you expecting any of them this year? And if they have attended last year, what has been their contribution towards ensuring that this program goes beyond where we are looking at now? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mm. Come on, let's respond to things. We'll come to the TV, please. Thank you so much, men of the press. Okay, who's responding? One of the major challenges is um, crowd, um, the overflow. I'm sure 2020 there will be more overflow. How do we curtail the current epidemic in the country? Okay. Thank you. Um, we, 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 as Nigerians, and then for everyone who lives in the world right now, we can't. Uh, see we are not aware of the pandemic in in the world and then uh, responsibility responsibility or rather necessity is laid on us as individuals to make sure that uh, these precarious measures are taken if you go everywhere that crowds gather right now especially go to companies banks and other function areas there are measures sanitary measures that are taken to make sure um, everybody enters a particular place clean so we have that in view. So we also uh, put in place sanitary measures for every attendee. Okay. As you're coming, you get, you get yourself cleaned up before you come in. So we are aware and then now definitely. At the yeah, at the entrance, right at the entrance at the gate. You get yourself cleaned up and then well sanitized before you come in. Okay. So okay. we have that measure in place. Okay. Okay, um, good morning, everyone. Um, I thank God for one thing. Most times when I want to talk to people, I have a living testimony. I attended Praise Wine three years back. Praise Wine three years back as a, an entertainer, as a comedian. I wanted to use Aztec as the venue for my event. And uh, at a point, the evening of Praise Wine, I already changed my mind because of money and because of resources and everything. But that very particular evening in Praise Wine in Aztec, I was seated almost outside. And expressly, I had my eyes opened. And instead of seeing, it was Wisdom K that was ministering that particular moment. Instead of seeing Wisdom K on stage, I was seeing the lineup of artists I scheduled for my event. And especially the Holy Spirit told me, you're going nowhere. You're using this particular event venue. And I walked out of that place that Sunday evening. By Monday evening, I deposited the first 500,000 for the hall. So if you're talking about how the youths have been transformed, I am one. 
Praise wine has touched my life. Praise wine changed my life. Now, I knew where I was coming from. I knew where I was coming from till that encounter. Now, one thing you also need to know, this is not just a gathering, it's not a showbiz. No. Prayerfully, even as we speak here, prayers are already ongoing. Except the Lord builds a house, they labor, laborate in vain. Don't look at us that are seated here as the one that will change the lives. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men to myself. So what we just do, we are just channels to lift God up, and he will draw men unto himself. A lot of people, millions that we've not even been able to articulate, have been transformed. I remember vividly where there was a lady last year whom the mother was dying. But at the administration of Chioma Jesus, the lady was called out. And that was how the mother's life was saved. Too many, too many testimonies that we cannot, we've not even been able to gather all. So if you're talking about transformation, it is indeed a reality. There is no praise wine that comes and goes. Their lives are not changed. Now, bringing it to the youth, I've also had a lot of young people who had come to praise wine and their life were, as in their way of life, were changed. They now have a better definition of life. Now, one thing that is causing about the restiveness is when you don't know who you are. But for instance, you come to praise wine, you see sensational Bamidele, for instance, sharing his life. He grew up in around Lagos bus stop. But you come to see the same man, you probably played one or two above the way you together, and you see the same man ministering life. I am sure it will help you to rethink. It will help you to now say, if sensational Bamidele, if God can make him who he is today, that same God can also change my life. So what we do is we only bring these ministers to show you that these people, where they are coming from, I'm trying to add it up to his question, why the ministers, each and every one of them have their stories. So where they are coming from, if God can use them, you are not an exemption. So praise wine 2020, a new beginning is already a guarantee. Once you step your feet into the be sure of one thing, your life is going to start afresh. That I assure you. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, I think he just um, linked that his response to the expectation for ministers. So we'll just take a location, accessibility to the okay. thing. That's okay. the last question. <coughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Um, what's the question again? Accessibility to the location, to Hobi Wale. How okay. can people access it, please? Okay. Are we just looking at those who are in this um, area? How about those in the okay. graves? Okay. Those in All right. Um, according, uh, I started with Praise Wine 2018. Mm. And since I started with them, um, my new aspect is visual. The visual I handle is not, is not based on to have the record. It's to broadcast to the world. Because many people can access this place. And we make sure that through the medium of our, vis our visual, get out there to all over the state and over the countries. And bringing people to get access to it. We are looking at next year to have satellite locations okay. for people that can attend. Because most, most of people are living far away from Port Harcourt and they have no access to mobile phone for internet. So we are looking at centers by next year to get so that everybody can participate in every program we have because this program is the best program for everybody. Okay, let me add to what uh, my colleague just said. Um, talking about accessibility, we understand that um, last year when we changed the venue from Aztec to uh, Air Force, we discovered that um, Obi Wale, and uh, we discovered that uh, people who couldn't look for, uh, get access to that venue. So we improvised by getting buses. We got buses where we had a um, bus on different locations in Port Harcourt. Knowing that, for instance, we had bus at um, town, town houses. We had at uh, the Diop houses. We had at Oyibo. We had at Choba, Uniport. That's for students. We had um, about six to seven locations. And with this year, by God's grace, we intend to increase 
like God's do. So this year we intend to increase, if possible, down to the villages, as God will have it. We increase so that we have everybody come together in one another. If you can't have data to go online to watch, you could come there one on one and you get blessed. Thank you. Okay, thank you. No more questions? Yes. Good morning. Yes. And it has to be something you have been doing and doing it well. And in Port Harcourt, where your programs don't thrive, after a while, they just die. So, mm. what's that one thing that has kept you in business? In We're not in business. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that has created this brand, um, Praise for My Dad's number one. Okay. And then, number two, since it's inter denominational, denominational yeah. what happens to the souls that are born? I've heard people say, people come out, there's an altar call. Is there a form of follow up? What happens to them after they go to the altar? What happens to them? And then proceeds from the event. Where does it go to? Do we make proceeds? Have you been there? <laughs> <laughs> do you make proceeds? Yeah, offering. Let's see. We don't do that. Don't do proceeds. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to ask you to come here to Ben. Everything you said is beautiful and it's awesome. It's not easy running a brand or a ministry or a program for the mass youth. Like uh, right now, we're looking at the fifth edition. One thing I want to know is what makes this event unique and stands out from the other years. No, I, I don't know what you say. Are you comparing this year's edition to other years, or you're comparing the brand to other brands? Mm -hmm. To itself, I'm saying this edition. Okay, what we'll would make this year's edition to be? Why would I want to be wherever I am? Okay. All right. Any more questions? Any other person? Swat TV. They responded to your question. Okay. All right. Uh, we just have three to go. What has kept this brand going over the years? Okay. Um. You see, it is, this is not just born out of um, personal ambition, okay? It's a mandate. It's a mandate from my speech that was given on November 2012. And this mandate is basically and specifically to the convener to gather the people of God to serve him in wine and in turn he will serve them back the wine as such such as they deserve now what has kept us going primarily is just the backing of the mandate now when God calls he backs you up so the difference what made the difference that has kept us going is just the backing of God because he called for it he mandated us to be doing this and that is why we have strived this far. It's not because we wanted one form of popularity. As a matter of fact, the convener of this program is a very quiet person and then we don't even want anybody to know him. But he's, he's propelled by the vision. And so that's what has kept us going. The hand of God has kept this vision going thus far. Yes, the, the souls that are warm during the program, uh, we have a team of our um, follow-up team, and then uh, we try to make sure that they are followed up to a point where they will be integrated into their different churches of choice. Like I said, it is just not one denomination that gathered there. We have different churches that come. So we do, we do there's a team of follow-up of, of, of follow team members that follow them up to a particular uh, point, and then they are integrated into churches. Okay. And, um, proceed. Well, like you all know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not a business venture where we expect proceed. Our proceed are the souls. So they don't call for seed sowing, tithing. Am I responding to your question? Find your question, take it back. Though there's offering, okay, though there's offering, okay, we, we, we do normal worship offering. 
but if you look at the, the amount of resources put into the program, it's nothing compared to the amount of offering for everybody that day. So now, if you ask me, will we want to keep that offering for a moment like this, for another edition, okay? After removing the tithe. After removing the tithe, we give that tithe and then keep the balance offering for the next edition. Okay, thank you. Um, are you. Are you okay or you? Okay, um, for this year's praise wine, even um, being a part of the local organization, I know that's where I want to get can come to now. Now, if being a is a privilege, being part of the local organizing committee. Now, but I'll say one thing, that there is no better yesterday with God. There is no better yesterday with God. Just like what the God you had yesterday, the experience you had with him yesterday, there is always something new. Like I said, what we do is inquire of God, and as he leads in the heart of the visionary, he passes down to each and every one of us, and we implement. For instance, the press conference is new. We've not done it before. This is the first time. So if you're asking what's new about this event, this is new. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> We've not done it before. This is new. Then, secondly, if you want to now talk about things that go deep down, like I said, prayer networks are already ongoing, massive chain prayer network everywhere, not even just people in Nigeria, outside the country. That's tell you how serious it is. We do not come out except he asks us to come. What I'm trying to say in essence is, if by 19th, on the 18th of April, God tells the visionaire to shut down praise wine, he will shut it down. That is how... Serving wine and talk the southern part so as we deserve. Now, what has kept us going primarily is just the battle of the man. Now, when God calls, He backs you up. So the different, what made the difference that has kept us going is just the backing of God. Because He called for it. He mandated us to be doing this. That is why we are striving this far. It's not because we wanted one form of writing. As a matter of fact, the convener of this program is a very quiet person and then wouldn't want anybody to do it. But it's, it's propelled by the vision. So that's what has kept us going. The hand of God has kept this vision going. Okay. Um, next question. Can you manage to speak to the Yes. The, the souls that are won during the program, uh, we have a team of our uh, follow-up team. Then uh, we try to make sure that they are follow-up to the point where they will be integrated into their different churches of choice, like I said. It's just not one denomination that can appear like different churches that come. So we do, we do the team, first of all, we follow-up team members and follow them up to a particular uh, point that they are integrated into churches. Okay. And um, proceed. <laughs> well, like you know, it's, uh, it's, it's not a business venture where we expect proceed. Our proceed are the souls. So they don't call for seed sowing, tithing. Am I responding to your question? Yes. Sir. Start your question, Jacob. Go ahead, I'm listening. Those offering, okay? Those offering, okay? We, we, we do normal worship offering. But if you look at the, the amount of resources put into the program, it's nothing compared to the amount of offering for everybody that day. So now, if you ask me, will they want to keep that offering? 
for a movie like this, for another edition. Okay, after removing the tights, after removing the tights, you give that tight and then keep the balance of it for the next edition. Okay, thank you. Um, are you are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? okay. So we all together go ahead. Of course, it's not easier. Expectation for this year. Expectation. Okay. Uh, for this year's budget, even uh, being a part of the. Oh, sorry, just to rephrase that, what are we doing different here? I know that's what I want to say. It being a, it's a privilege being part of the local organizing committee. Now, but I will say one thing, that there is no better yesterday than God. There is no better yesterday than God. Just like what the God you had yesterday, the experience you had with him yesterday, there is always something new. Like I said, what we do is inquire of God, and as he lives in the heart of the nation, yeah, he passes down to each and every one of us, and we implement. For instance, the press conference, it's new, we've not done it before, this is the first time. So if you ask him what's there for this event, <laughs> this is new. This is new. Then, secondly, if you want to now talk about things that go deep down, like I said, prayer networks are already ongoing, massive change prayer network everywhere, not even just people in Nigeria. Outside the country, that's said how serious it is. We do not come out except he asks us to come. What I'm trying to say in essence is, if by 19th, on the 18th of April, God tells the visionary to shut down phase one, he will shut it down. That is how, how connected, how sensitive he is with God to the last drop of it. So, look at what is happening around the world today. If I want to say, let me use this probably as an impact. Look at what's happening around the world today. He said, darkness shall cover the earth. Maybe you can liken that to normal problems you have, financial problems, challenges. And as it cross darkness, the people, that is where we are today. Coronavirus is across darkness. And the only place you can find safety is a Christ. So, praise wine. 2020 is a channel through which you can reach God. So, the only place you can run to, please, on the 19th of April, wherever you are, Uku Ben, I'm asking you why you should leave every other thing, wherever you are, if you're not in Obiwale, I wonder where else you will be on that day. And I'm sure that every one of us seated here will be there. And the entire public that is listening to us, you will also come and experience God for yourself. So this year's Praise Wine, like we said, is a new beginning and everything are new. I don't want to start mentioning the artists one after, or the ministers rather, I, I really don't like them calling them artists. The ministers one after the other. We don't want to go into that because we are going to be taking care of that in the next action that we're about to do. But come praise when 2020, expect what you've never expected before. And God will answer you, your heart desires. Thank you. Okay. I think that's, that's for now. So um, at this point, we will be unveiling the, the publicity material and also the pictures of uh, pictures of all the arts for Praise Wine 2020. And we are privileged to have one of the guest ministers here with us. And um, she will do that, the honor to unveil this material.
and then everybody will see, for the world to see and know that Praise One 2020 has come to stay. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a great honor for me to unveil the arts for Praise Wine 2020. My name is Tuno Ade, and the wife of the convener of Praise Wine. As we heard, Praise Wine, this year will be the eighth edition of Praise Wine. It's a mandate whereby the title holders, they lay down their titles for the title givers. God has prepared some men and women that will launch us into its presence. In this year, Praise Wine 2020. It's a privilege for me this morning to unveil the ministers for Praise Wine 2020. Okay, number one in the picture is Tino Ade, that's my humble self. Number two, we have Priye Hodede. Number three, we have Joe Praise. Number four, we have Tope Alabi. Number five, we have Dulce Hoyeka. And the last but not the least, it's our man, Sensational Bani Dele. These are ordained ministers of God, ready to launch us into the God's presence in this year, Praise Why 2020. So you just join our hands together. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's an honor to have um, um, one of the ministers with us. It's a great privilege. And uh, she's been on this for, for the past seven years. It's, it's not been easy. Thank you so much, ma'am. And quickly, we'll just take our closing remarks take our closing remark and after which light refreshment photographs and she's here you could ask her some questions personal questions and as an artist and the minister praise wine 2020 and uh, from 2013 to date maybe you could get to interview her after now so we'll take our closing remarks and that will be done by joshua Thank you very much, members of the press. Thank you very much, distinguished guests, for coming around. And here is a closing remark. We want to thank you. Like every one of us has said, there's no better place to be on the 19th of April than to be at Obiwali for Praise Wine 2020. And like we know, Praise Wine 2020 is a move of God. And it's a very wonderful move in the city, right? So we are urging and craving our indulgence to be part of this great move of Praise Wine 2020 and see God transform your life in different dimensions. Thank you very much for coming. We are glad and we are pleased to have you in our midst and we're expecting to see you on the 19th of April 2020. Thank you very much for coming. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I thank you all for your presence in this place. But I just want to add some things to it to encourage you all to be in the presence of God come 19th April 2020. And I thank you all for the patience you all have. I thank you for your presence there because no one comes to the presence of God without receiving the present. Because the Bible tells us that also offer praise glorify God. And to him that order his conversation are right will receive salvation. So I know that Praise Wine 2020 has something to offer to you. 
whatever problem it is, there is nothing impossible for God to do. He's there to meet your need and it will cause revival both in our land and in every life that showed himself in Praise Wine 2020. It's not by power, it's not by might, but by the spirit of the Lord because we have been connecting God for the thing only him can do from January. And I know that whatever it is that they call viruses, it is under the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you all, and I want you all to come. The Most High God, who inhabit the praise of his people, will inhabit even your desire. Your pleading will not be much. Hence, you offer praise from the bottom of your heart to the living God who can do all things. You are all blessed. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, thank you. And uh, time for the closing prayer. Can we all rise, please? In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for the success of this press conference. Thank you for members of the press. Thank you for this team. Thank you for all that you are said to do in praise wine. Thank you for the multitude you are gathering unto yourself. Thank you for taking preeminence already. Lord, as we live here right now, may you take absolute control of all the remaining parts of today. We ask, oh God, may your mercy, may your favor, may the precious blood of Jesus cover us and let your hand be mighty upon our life. In all we do, in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. All right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, men of the press. And this is where we draw the curtain for this event. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful day.